Welcome to the program of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. I'm your presenter, Pastor Florence Minor. I'm broadcasting live all the way from Minnesota, USA. What a blessing. We are on the second day of the month of April. Yesterday we started over by thanking God for each and every day. Today is already covered. But I want to encourage you, my brother, my sister, as I don't know where you are and whether the lockdown is still there. Because tomorrow is Sunday when people gather in the presence of God to worship God. If you are that kind of a person and your buildings are still shut, you don't need to shut yourself. Lockdown does not mean you rock yourself down. It's a time of rejuvenating yourself spiritually, physically, emotionally or even relation wise in Jesus name. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you and to bless you for this moment that you are giving me to share your word. Use me as a vessel to be a blessing to your people, oh God. And as I share, Lord, I pray that you may also speak to me, God. I pray that I may decrease as you increase. Holy Spirit of the living God, take over that I may only share that which you want me to share. And I come again as every distractions of the enemy that bring wastage of time in Jesus name. Amen and amen. As you can see right now I'm on my uniform. I'll be heading to work after this to work overnight but I have to do what I've been called to do so that we can motivate each other. Oh the title of my message will be let us continue to commit our lives to God. You are not your own. You are owned by God who created you, who has given you the privilege to be breathing. Many people are sick. Others are dead. But you are where you are at such a time as this so that you can glorify God. I'm going to be reflecting for the next few days on Proverbs chapter 3, the entire chapter. But I want to uh, focus right now on fast four. Verse 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. It's my prayer that this pandemic season that I will teach you if you have not yet learned because there are people who take wrong before they accept things are the way they are. First and foremost, I want to pray God that you will be able to accept things the way they are but in a positive way. Otherwise, it can affect you tremendously. You have a life to live. You have one life to live and you need to live it with integrity. Live it with integrity the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you dress, the way you eat, the way you serve. Lean not on your own understanding. Every day you wake up, count it a blessing that you are breathing. Count it a blessing that you have a, you have a shelter, that you have clothing and you have daily food. And don't think it is because you work way too hard. No, it's because God has given you, the, the grace of God has been sufficient for you. And so you can be able to join the singer who sang Amazing Grace. How sweet that sound. It's grace that has made us reach far, this far. And Grace will lead us home. That's why you do not need to lean on your own understanding. If it were for understanding of men, where we are at, things would be different. You could just be going to the doctor and you want to be checked, but now you can't. Many people are even fearing to go to the hospital. And so my brother, my sister, it's a time that we need to commit ourselves to the Lord. And as I said, you know, there are people who are living like there is nothing happening. They don't even care to wash hands. I went to the store and I was surprised. The way people are, they don't even mask. With me here, I, I always have a mask. Be it, well, not that I put them in the house, but in my car I have several masks and I have different ones. I have also have the homemade ones. I, <laughs> I demonstrated the other day I was making. So I'm careful according to the instructions that are, are given. I am careful the way I dress. I have my uniform on. I can't go with the clothes that I had during the day. No, I have to the, follow the instruction of the company I work for. Oh, I'm following the instruction of sharing the word of God. And tomorrow, I will be also holding a service. It may not be in the morning if I'm going to be a little bit sleepy. But for this particular time, tomorrow when you wake up, I don't know what you do. But if you have not started a home church in your 
Family room started tomorrow. And I want to call upon also our men. Because they have been called to be the priest of their own homes. But if they are not leading, it does not mean you as a wife, as a mother, you cannot lead. It does not mean you as a child, if your parents are not doing it, you cannot do it. Just wake up. If you can't sing, put on the radio. If you can't put on the radio, put on the TV. You can go to YouTube and you Google and you put those um, songs and then you can sing say something. Don't just pull up the blanket. No. It is not a lockdown for you to sleep. It's a lockdown to rejuvenate your soul. The relationship, uh, your responsibility, your accountability in Jesus' name. If we clock in, uh, in our places of work and expect to be paid, we need not to lean on our own understanding and clock into that moment that you can share the word of God. It is a song I always say. I don't know why people, some people should sing it. It says, When he calls me, I will answer. When he calls me, I will answer. When he calls me, I will answer. I'll be somewhere working for my Lord. Sing it if you mean it. If you be working, you be somewhere working for your Lord. I am working for my God. When I'm going to work, I am working for my God because the Bible tells me that whatever I do, be it to eat or to drink or whatever, I do it for the glory of God. Right now, I normally don't go to work wearing a headscarf, but this season I have to so that when I come home, I just have to remove everything and I don't have to mind that my hair is infected and all that kind of stuff. We have to be ready at all times. We have to put on the whole armor of God according to Ephesians 6. And today, even as we were sharing, we normally have prayer every day from 6 to 7 central time and you can uh, join us anytime, any day you feel like uh, God leads you. Uh, and that number, uh, that number is 425-436-6344. 4, the pin or to enter is 702842. Again, that number, the conference number, and it's free is 425-436-6344. And the code to enter is 702842. Today, we had an amazing uh, time because before we pray, we try to encourage each other. We concentrated also on this uh, Proverbs 3, but we also had to challenge ourselves. This is not the time to sit, to be locked down and eat whatever you want to eat. We want to eat healthy. We want to feed ourselves healthy so that we can be we can live healthy to serve God with integrity. Don't just eat anything. Don't just drink anything. And we are going to be sharing, you know, bit by bit on what we should. You don't have to be very expensive. It doesn't have to be expensive for you to eat healthy. You don't have to go do shopping so that you can eat healthy. Whatever you have in your kitchen, you can be able to improvise whatever you have and be a part of our integrity because our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. If I'm not healthy enough, I'm not able to go to work. If I'm not healthy enough, I'm not able to preach. If I'm not healthy enough, I cannot be able even to pray if I'm weak. If we are eating, we eat. If we are fasting, we are fasting. If we are praying, we pray. If we are working, we are working. We do it. Yes. I also want to read verse 27. Do not withhold good from those whom it is due. When it is in the power of your hand to do so. As we were sharing from yesterday and also today, I also want to share with you. There are people who have a habit when you ask them something, they tell you, you can come tomorrow. Not that there is something they are waiting to do tomorrow, but something. And maybe they didn't even know. It's a kind of pride. Don't lean on your own understanding. If you have what it takes, if you have what your neighbor is asking you, or whatever, whoever God has brought you to your life, give it. Don't, why are you buying time? Procrastination is not of God. Is there anything that you are that is preventing you to do that? It has said very clearly, do not withhold good from those who whom it is due, when it is in the power of you, it, it, it is in the power of your hand to do so. Do not say to your neighbor, "Go and come back, and tomorrow I'll give it." When you have it with you, 
do you know uh, some of these things I never even to know I never used to know they are in the Bible but because of the lockdown we have really gone into details and we are seeing it is like honey to our soul I have no idea if you ever knew this that there are people who will just let you give me time time to do what come tomorrow why are you postponing to tomorrow remember we should be living in the now moment yesterday is gone tomorrow may never be yours one day at a time one day at a time sweet jesus that's all i'm asking of you and he continued to say yes study is gone sweet jesus and tomorrow may never be mine so what help me today to do every day what i have today and what i have to do today is the day now is the hour for you even to accept the lord to do what you can do as long as it is within your capability and capacity let us pray i don't know your need there I don't know whether you've been dealing with that procrastination. I don't think, know whether you've been dealing with pulling your blanket on Sundays. I hope tomorrow, the third day of May, is not going to be the same anymore. Father, in Jesus' name, I have given your word. May your Holy Spirit water it to bear for the fruit of encouragement and preparation of your second coming to your people. Continue also to bless me through this word with the new revelation in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You are there. You know yourself. If you have never accepted the Lord, it is my privilege to pray with you. Do you want to say this prayer after me? Remember, it is with the heart a man believes that Christ is the Son of God, that he died and lost on that day, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. You believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. Do you want to say this prayer after me? Lord Jesus, I come before you. I repent of my sin. Forgive me, dear Lord, and give me a desire to grow spiritually. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been saved. The old is gone and the new has come. Now start walking in the newness of life. Look for an organization like, you know, for a ministry. Like now when the churches are, church building are locked down. Where you can be able to be edified. You can join different prayer groups. They are there. You can join different Christian mo uh, movement. Like, oh gosh, there are so many. If you don't know of any, welcome to celebrate your moment with joy. Remember also to subscribe to our channel and God will bless you. Let us continue to pray for each other. I love you and God loves you the most. Remember tomorrow to hold a service in your place wherever you are in Jesus name. Amen.